hello everyone welcome back to spectrum classes in this video i am going to show you the lab activity related to the determination of turbidity by using nephelometric turbidity meter so here in this video i am just going to show you the lab activity related to the calibration of nephelometric turbidity meter as well as how to determine the turbidity of a given water sample right we have taken this hexamine and hydrazine sulfate solutions this is 1 gram hydrazine sulfate in 100 ml and we will take 5 ml of each of these solutions so 5 ml of this 10 gram hexamine I will transfer this into the 100 ml measuring flask I will also take 5 ml of hydrazine sulfate you can see 5 ml and I am also going to transfer it into the same measuring flask in which I have added 5 ml of hexamine right I will shake it well and keep the solution overnight for 24 hours after 24 hours we are having this type of solution here you can see as I have already done this and we are going to make up this up to 100 ml so here this is 100 ml and the turbidity of this solution is 400 NTU I will take 25 ml of this 400 NTU solution and will make up it up to 100 ml here you can see this is 25 ml so I make up it up to 100 ml and I transfer it into the measuring flask so here you can see 400 and 100 NTU solutions now I am going to calibrate the Nephalo turbidity meter so here you can see the cubit this is having a white mark on this so up to this white mark we need to fill this cubit we need to hold this cubit at the bottom and at the brims not in between and we just before putting into this Nephalo meter we need to clean it with the tissue paper and here you can see that white mark is capped at this mark right and this blue light shows the source of light inside this turbidity meter so this is set at zero for distilled water and i will fill my cubit with 400 ntu solution so here i'll just first wash it with this 400 NTU solution and now I will fill this cubit up to the mark here you can see some more solution need to be added and now I am going to put this cubit inside the Nephalo turbidity meter after cleaning it with the help of tissue paper I am putting it and you can see the mark now we will calibrate it so we will set the unit for calibration for 400 and now enter so it shows weight and here the reading is 400 NTU now we will remove our cubit and we will transfer this solution in the same flask of 400 NTU and now I am going to fill this cubit with 100 NTU solutions but before that we will shake it well and also we will rinse our cubit with this 100 NTU solution so after rinsing it I am just going to fill my cubit with this 100 NTU solution 
up to the mark we are going to fill it and i will keep it inside this nephalo turbidity meter after cleaning it now we are measuring the unknown sample so now i have just this soil and i dissolve this soil in distilled water now after some settle down of this solution i transfer this in one of my cubit so this cubit is filled completely with this solution decanted solution and now the other one i fill it half right and i make up it with the distilled water so here you can actually understand that these solutions are of different almost 50% turbidity so distilled water then dilute sample then a little concentrated sample and now we are going to measure these solutions for their turbidity so here this is 400 ntu solution now i'm just going to put it again water sample so that you can see the calibration so here is the zero reading right now i'm just going to put my dilute solution now i'm going to put this wait here it shows 99 for this dilute solution now we are putting the other solution wait and its turbidity is 156 ntu so this is how one can determine the turbidity of unknown solutions now for accuracy i am just going to put it, this 400 ntu solution again and i hope you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe thank you all thanks for watching